When Europe went to war in 1914, the U.S. wanted no part of it. But when German submarines started bringing down American supply ships, America went to war. By 1918, Uncle Sam had recruited millions of men to serve in World War I. 400,000 of them African Americans. Half would go to France, with some going to the front. But the majority would be treated like slaves, toiling away in the most physically exhausting and least skilled jobs in the U.S. Army. But four African American infantry regiments fought with the French Army and proved that they could perform as well as white soldiers and for the first time in their lives were treated with respect and decorated for their courage. Returning veterans hoped that by proving their loyalty, patriotism, and worthiness, they would receive better treatment at home. That did not happen. They came back to white supremacist attacks across the country including the horrific lynching of black soldiers in uniform. But experiences in France had changed their lives. They'd been to war in Europe. They'd fought bravely and been honored for their service and met people who had treated them well. They had pride in their achievements many would become powerful voices in the fight for racial justice that would transform America in the coming decades. <laughs>